we're heading to Costco, so I thought I would do like a mini how we make a list. This is our shopping list that we keep in the pantry all the time, and as we need things from Costco, we just kind of write it in here, but it's not complete. I do want to take a look at what we have going on in here and see what else we need to add to it. So it'll be kind of a mini pantry tour. Um, we keep all of our pasta stuff here, but I personally don't like getting pasta from Costco because at our local Costco, they don't have whole grains. So I usually just get those from like the grocery store. It's been about a month since my last Costco video that I showed you guys. So this is some of the stuff that we're out of. We're completely out of mini wheats and like cereal. Those are our, like favorite cereals that we eat. And we're just about running low on granola too. So we might pick up another one of those granolas. Down here is where we keep like our snacks, but we don't really buy too many snacky type of food. This is like all Halloween candy still left over. Um, really the only snacks we get there are um, like trail mix or our extra cereals go in this little bin too. Our canned stuff here, um, if they have tomato soup, sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. I'll pick it up at Costco, but in all honesty, tomato soup and any of these type of soups uh, I find are cheaper during a case lot sale at our grocery store, so I'm probably not going to get anything like that for there. Uh, tomatoes, you can see we've gone through quite a bit of them because I do use them a lot in many recipes, but not enough for me to pick one up this time because this will probably last us one more month. One of the things that we are just about out of though is stock. I love the Kirkland stock um, from Costco and my Costco hasn't had the Kirkland veggie stock in a long time. So I've just been grabbing fillers if we need it from the grocery store, but I'm really hoping that they have stock this time. And then our snack organizer here, my husband and my daughter really did good on granola bars. They really liked those this past month. So that's definitely on the list. And then for pouches and fruit cups and stuff, we still have quite a bit of them. So I don't really know if we're gonna be grabbing anything to go in here. Um, we might see what other new type of things they have but this is what i do is i kind of tour my pantry to see if there's anything that i've forgotten on the list so far in the freezer we are out of all of our ground beef we go through that pretty quick uh chicken mm, i don't know if we need another pack of chicken pork we're good for sure bacon we're good for sure we probably will just pick up ground beef and chicken and in the fridge i don't know what's going on in here probably needs a good clean out before we bring home the groceries but um, I don't typically buy like our fruits and vegetables there, but we probably will pick up some strawberries because we go through them pretty quick. We do need apples and we do need oranges. So we'll add those to the list. All needs a wipe down. We're completely out of eggs, completely out of yogurts. Uh, cheese, we have some in the freezer from last month so we don't have to pick that up. And we do have, we're just about out of bacon bits too. But yeah, she's got quite a few pouches and quite a few fruit cups, so we probably won't grab those type of snacks. So the only thing I need to add to the list then are apples and oranges. Yeah, this definitely needs a good wipe down. <laughs> On the way to Costco, I will probably reorganize this list and write out a new one um, organized by the way Costco is laid out. This way it's easier for me to make sure I'm getting everything on our list. Let's go to Costco. This particular Costco trip was done about a month after my last one and I will leave my last one in the description box below. P.S. Thank you guys so much for all the positive feedback on that one. I love sharing my organization tips with you guys in that video. But back to this particular trip. This trip, we didn't need a ton of our meats or our household items. It was more of a filler trip to get some of our staples that we were slowly running out of. Plus the girls needed some winter clothes and we found some other goodies as well. And let me get started in showing you what we picked up on this particular day. Every once in a while, we buy these breakfast wraps from Costco. These are great for the days that we are super busy and I don't have time to make a very good breakfast for us. Uh, they're just super quick and easy for both my husband and I to eat or him to take for lunch. So I find the days that my daughter has preschool are the days that I gravitate towards these. But if you guys haven't tried these, these are so good. I love these breakfast wraps. And I store them in these dollar rama containers because they fit perfectly and they are freezer safe. So I can just pop these containers into the deep freeze and I am good to go to be able to find my wraps. Now I'm not going to show you my deep freeze because that is a hot mess and that is just something that I don't know if I'll ever be able to find a good organization system for. But while we were at Costco, we decided to pick up these chimichangas as well, which I thought would be really good for busy days for a lunch wrap as well. And these are okay. I don't like these ones as much as I like the breakfast ones, but I'm storing them the exact same way in these Dollarama containers that I can pop into the deep freeze. These 
frozen lasagnas from Costco are really good and they're very reasonably priced so we decided to pick these up again as well. We also decided to pick up some of these Japanese style fried rice which I thought would be a good quick lunch idea for my daughter. Spoiler, she doesn't really like these which is kind of funny because she loves rice. So I ended up eating her leftovers and I really like them. We also picked up this three pack of bread and now all three of these items that I just shared with you get stored in our deep freeze so for now they're just going to go into a bag to go into the deep freeze. We also picked up some chicken breasts as well as some ground beef which you guys have seen in previous videos that we package into Ziploc bags and store in our fridge freezer in the house in those exact same bins that I stored those breakfast wraps in. Those are from Dollarama again. These ones are just labeled with uh, the different types of meat so it's easy for us to find what we're looking for when we're making supper. I did pick up one of these flats of 30 packs of eggs. Now we go through eggs basically every single day. I make eggs for breakfast if I'm not making a breakfast wrap. And my daughter likes to help put these away. She does so well with putting them away. As you guys can see here, she's going very, very slow because I told her she had to be careful with them. But this is one task that I give her all the time and she's only ever broken two eggs. So that's pretty darn good, I'd say. But these containers are just interdesign containers that I picked up at HomeSense. I would prefer if they were clear, but I don't mind that they are white as well. And after she has these all sorted away in these containers, I just store them in our fridge pullout drawer as well. We picked up some more of these yogurt drinks. My daughter absolutely loves these and Costco is the most reasonably priced place to find these I have found. And I store these in these interdesign containers. I think they call them interdesign fridge bins. And these fit perfectly in our specific fridge in this little ledge that I just couldn't figure out how best to use it. So that's why I keep using it for any of these taller snacky items for my daughter. We did pick up some of our 1% milk as well as our half and half coffee creamer. This isn't super interesting. We just store this in the fridge in the far left corner on our fridge. Out of all the Greek yogurts that I've tried, this is my favorite brand and Costco this particular day had one with a new flavor, apple cinnamon on the bottom. It was pretty good. We didn't mind it, but I do store the yogurt in that same pullout bin where the eggs go, just kind of resting beside them. We did grab some of these clementines, which are super good. They're really sweet, so we like them in this house. We also picked up a pack of these gala apples, which we are also really liking right now. And these just get stored in the fruit pullout bin in our fridge here, which again, my daughter wanted to help. Now to divide the oranges from the apples, I do have these interdesign um, drawer dividers, I think they are called. They work really well in our particular fridge, so I do use them for that. Both my husband and I like to have freshly squeezed lemon in our lemon water in the morning, so we did pick up a pack of lemons from Costco as well and I was completely out of room in like the fr fruit section of my fridge so I just had my daughter put them in the veggie section. This gives you guys a better idea of that drawer divider because I do use it in the veggie drawer as well. We usually pick up strawberries and blueberries if they're on for a decent price at Costco as well. Now both of these are out of season where I live right now, so they are fairly expensive for us to pick them up, so I don't, you won't see them in every single Costco haul. But this particular day, my daughter requested them. They looked good, they weren't too bad of a price. And I also needed these for her preschool the next day, so I just decided to cut them all up. I don't usually do this. A lot of the times I just kind of keep them in the fridge until we need them, but I knew that we'd eat them in the next couple of days, so I'm just cutting them up, washing them now, and putting them in in these glass containers to store in the fridge. But if you guys have suggestions on better containers to store your fruits and veggies in in the fridge, can you comment below and let me know? These work okay, but only because we're gonna be using them right away. I've been cooking with green beans a lot lately, so we picked up another pack and I ended up dividing this into three and freezing two of the bags and kept one in the fridge for now. And we picked up some cucumbers, which also make great snacks for preschool. Both of those were just stored in either the fridge for the fresh stuff and the freezer for the frozen stuff. I swear, every time we go to Costco, we pick up a pack of mini wheats. It's basically like the only cereal that all of my family eat, and we store it in these cereal containers here that we also picked up from Costco probably last year when we first moved it, two years ago now, when we first moved into this house. We also picked up this pack of uh, pasta sauce. All of these get stored in our pantry, the pasta sauce on the left-hand side, and then the cereal or pantry organization containers just get stored on right beside them. 
you like olives, you will love the Kirkland brand olives. And this was actually a backup pack. So I just store my backups on this small Lazy Susan in our pantry. Any of my backup spices or backup Pam or pickles or anything like that gets stored on here. We're also just about running out of our baking bits and I use these for a lot of different recipes. And we were also just about out of all of our crackers, which I use for recipes or for soup. Now a cracker pack like this will do us for a very long time, uh, but we store them in these bins just in the pantry. I just kind of keep them on the floor here. And that is also where I store any sort of leftover cereals or baking bits like you guys see here. Did pick up this 24 pack of gum and I just store our gum in this container that we have in our pantry. I don't know where it's from. I don't know how it ended up in our pantry, but it's a perfect size for gum. <laughs> I'm not a fan of granola bars in general, but both my daughter and husband are. So we picked these ones up because they are peanut free, so they're good for her preschool as well. And they get stored in that snack thing that you guys saw at the beginning of the video. The only household item that we were running out of was our Tide and our fabric softener. And I store these as well as the girls detergent in these glass dispenser containers that I picked up from Walmart. These work really well because I can see how much we have left in here. And I think they look a little bit better sitting on my counter versus like the big containers of soap, but any sort of leftover container soaps that we have goes in this cupboard right above it as well. I love browsing the books whenever we go to Costco and I found this Christmas memory book, which is very similar to the preschool or school memory book that I got for my daughters uh, earlier in this season. I don't think I shared that in a Costco haul though, but I did share it on Instagram, so make sure you're following me there. I loved how this was laid out. I loved how it was kind of like a guided journal, a guided memory book. It had a whole bunch of different fun Christmas things to keep track of in here. I think it's so cute and I love that it kind of lays everything out, especially for this season of my life that I'm in right now. It's kind of hard for me to remember all of the different things that I want to keep track of, but this book lays it out so nicely and I think this will be a great book to keep for years uh, down the road. It actually has about six different years that keep repeating itself in the book, which is really nice. It'd be a great childhood memory keepsake to show your kids when you're older as well. And I also love that it has little pockets to keep any sort of memorabilia or anything that would fit in this book in here as well. Another book that I picked up is for my youngest baby who is really into like touchy feely type of books, like any sort of texture books or anything like that. And I thought this book, book would be a really nice Christmas gift for her. So it's probably gonna go in her stocking or just wrapped up, I'm not entirely sure yet. But I thought it was laid out really nicely and I think that she will like it. We will see come Christmas day. <laughs> My oldest daughter is three years old and my youngest daughter is eight months old, but she's wearing 12 month clothing. So I did have to pick up some winter clothing for the girls and I decided to get these two matching outfits because I thought they were so cute. And this is the first time where I've had to really buy both of them uh, clothing at the exact same time like this. So I wanted to go with the matchy route. I also decided to pick up some long sleeve onesie sets for my baby girl, as well as some pajama sets here for my oldest who also needed pajamas as well. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch this video. I hope that you enjoyed seeing what we picked up from Costco and how I store and organize our groceries. This video was filmed just about a month ago now by the time you guys are watching it here and we are heading to Costco this week. So definitely comment below and let me know if you want me to continue filming our Costco hauls and organization and I can do that for you. Make sure you're following me on Instagram and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.